Good morning or afternoon, I guess, everybody. Keith here. Hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, and loving life. Gonna wait a few minutes, get some people on, because I got a few topics I want to talk about coming up here uh, recently. If you've seen my posts, I've been talking about some things, but uh, majority of it. Uh, is stemming from a conversation in Kirk's Law Corner. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Kirk Pendergrass. And I'm going to let everybody right, know right now, he's a lying, fucking bastard, coward bitch. Sitting there professing how to stand up for your freedom of speech and your freedom of press. And yet professing that in his forum, he gets to determine that excuse me you're professing to stand up for everybody's freedom of speech and freedom of press yet you succinctly suppress their expressions in your forum because you don't like it sounds like the exact same fucking thing the government and the banks and all the lawyers and everybody else is doing to you and this is the idiot that's standing up there with Amon Bundy And don't detract from Amon Bundy on this at all. Amon Bundy is doing what he's supposed to do. He allows everybody their freedom of press. He doesn't, he doesn't sit there and delete comments from somebody. And then turn around and call fact checkers. And say this guy's making false comment because that comment was never made on my post because I deleted it. Remember, people, all these programs, all these electronic programs have what's known as security certificates. This is how they, they're they able to go into your computers and your devices and pull up information that you yourself deleted. So when you want to delete comments on your own post and then say, I'm the one that's libeling you, you want to stand up on that? You want to stand your square? You better be prepared when it comes to court that those security certificates are going to come out and prove that you're the one that's committing libel. You're the one that's suppressing the freedom of speech. You're the one that suppressed the freedom of, of, of uh, press by deleting the comment that I made, regardless of what post it was on. It's in a public forum. You cannot sit there and claim it's your private material. It was posted in a public domain. That's like printing it up in the newspaper and then calling the newspaper up and saying, I'm sorry, you got to pull all those articles from, from print. Can't be done. It's already on the security certificates, folks. Kirk Pendergrass, Kirk, Kirk's Law Corner. Go ahead and keep listening to him. He's got great information. Chris Howell is a great guy. But that's all I would suggest you do is take the information from him. Because if you try to put your own information in there and he doesn't like it, he's going to suppress your freedom of speech. And he's going to tell you things like he told me, Keith, I don't know where you get your information. Well, that ought to give you a clue that he's not looking the same place as I am. When I offer up information, I'm not try doing this to try to mislead anybody. I'm doing it for you. I don't need it myself anymore. I can stand in any court and speak it verbally. I don't need a written piece of paper. I know where it's at. It's already right here. And so again, back to Amon Bundy and Kirk Pendergrass relations. I urge people to stand your square, but don't do it in a violent manner. Keep it to paper. Fiat. Watch my posts. Read my posts below this. You'll see about certification, authentication, and fiat. Pay attention. They are not synonymous. They are all different stages of your capacity. So let's start out with certification. Certifications can always be proven to be false. That certificate of live birth. Me, mine, the one they say belongs to me, has a name on it, and then two signatures. Guess what, folks? I'm so old, I'm of such age, that...
that the two people that signed that document are most likely dead and can never go into court and verify by testimonial facts that it is authentic. Therefore, it can never be validated. The electronic security certificates? Yeah. Guess what? They can be validated. They can be validated by the guy that made the comment and then found out it was deleted. I can get on the stand and testify, yes. I made a comment and he deleted it. And that security certificate stating this comment was deleted and it was made by this profile and this is what it said. This is when it was made. This is when it was deleted. They are all timed. Kurt Pendergrass has since <coughs> that initial comment where he disagreed with my comment about certification and it being a process that is false. And then he said, I don't know where you get your information. That's great, Kurt. You ought to start looking. You ought to start listening to other people instead of suppressing their comments. You fucking coward. So again, I took my comments. And believe you me, people, I'm not stupid. I'm not an idiot. I do my due diligence. So when I posted it on my page, I also posted the exact same comment in other groups where he has no control over the content. Period. So after he blocked me from commenting in his Kurt's Law Corner, professing to teach people law while suppressing them, which is a violation of the very law that he's trying to preach. Babble much? Actions speak louder than words. So by his very actions... And not wanting to step up and debate me. When I stand by square. He's a fucking coward. And while he wants to run in and, and join everybody else in support of Amon Bundy. And they all gather up and run up and down this armed, this line of armed soldiers in some kind of court forum, harassing them. Do you not understand? Do you not comprehend the word of God to go forth in peace? You went into a public forum with a multitude of other people with intent knowing that they were going to bring out weapons, forcing you to stand there and speak about your Second Amendment right to bear arms. You've obviously still got it fucking backwards. You don't have a right to bear arms. That is a privilege. He says you have a right to armorial bearing, and that means you have a right to go back to him. Instead, you want to keep going to the Constitution without knowing how to indenture it. You don't go to the Constitution in a public forum and start babbling. You prove the origin of the Constitution. You prove where they get their authority. You don't stand there and ask them where they get their authority. You prove it. As it is written, so shall it be. What is done is what ought, what is, ought be done. There is nothing new under the sun. You're doing it wrong, folks. But you do so in fiat. You do it through a fiat. What is fiat, Keith? 
Everybody knows what fiat does, don't you? Fiat currency. If you want to keep listening to their definitions without comprehending the reality of it, by taking their, their definition along with somebody else's definition of the same thing, along with somebody else's definition of the same thing, along with all, as many definitions as you can dig up, so you can ascertain by reason what is truly said, so you can convey it rightly, so you can convey it righteously, by showing where the origin of those words that are used to ascertain originally come from. So let's talk about fiat real quick before we get any further into certification and authentication. This is the principle. Because when we talk about fiat, We're talking about a formal authorization or proposition, a decree adopting a legislative review program rather than trying to regulate by fiat. What's that mean? Adopting a legislative review program. Does that tell you something, folks? Every time an officer issues you a ticket, according to a legislative code that isn't named first, but numerized, enumerated first, and then has some legislated words that aren't of common usage, adopting a legislative review means that once he gives you that ticket, they're going to go review it. They're going to review it. And while they review it, they're going to put you in a new venue so they can raise revenue through fiat currency. Well, let's go a little bit further. It says, similar decree, edict, order, command, commandment. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Where does all their legislative word come from? Where does the, 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 the Declaration of Independence, where do the Articles of Confederation come from? Where does the Constitution come from? Where does all this fucking shit that they write down in legislative usage come from? It comes from the original commandments. Let me tell you what, folks, when we go on and read further, an authoritative, authoritative decree, sanction, or order, a royal fiat, a fixed form. Oh, wait a minute, what did we say? Up here it says a formal authorization. So what form of authorization are they using? Are they using legislated words that somebody sat at a typing board and typed in And then print it up on paper and then had all these other people signed it, agreeing to it. Those are the ones that agreed to that fiat. I didn't. I didn't authenticate it. I didn't certify it. Period. An authoritative, let's see, an authoritative, authoritative decree, sanction, or order, a royal fiat, a fixed form of words. Okay, form of words. What words are they using? Are they using English? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Do you know English? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Same thing I did in court when that motherfucker asked me if you, if you understand English. Yes, I'll bet you don't. I'll bet you don't. I've been at this five years. I still don't understand English. I'm learning it, but I'll never understand it. I understand what's written here, and it takes no words. When I'm, when I'm out there dealing with nature 
and there's not another man around, I can deal, na deal with nature without any words. It does not take words. Actions speak louder than words. And I assure you people, I do, I've done rescues many years, all of my life. Rabbits, squirrels, birds, dogs, cats, you name it. I've done it. And I didn't go get them from a rescue center and then take them home. I found them in danger out there and needing specific help. And instead of taking them from out there and taking them to a shelter, I took care of them myself because I don't even trust the shelters. They're shoving needles in them, just like they shove needles into your children. By which a person in authority gives sanction. These people are not my authority. They don't sanction my use of the goddamn thing. He does. The origin of the word fiat in English is connected to the origin of the word itself taken from the Latin meaning. Let it be done. Gosh, didn't that sound just like what I just said? What is written is what ought is as it is written, so shall it be done. What is done is what ought be done. There is nothing new under the sun. That's biblical, people, and that's exactly what that says. That's what fiat is. It's not money. It's not certifications. It's not authentication. It's not validation. It's what he said. And if you stand in that and walk in that and your actions proved by your... or Your, your actions are proven, that's fiat. Kurt Pendergrass is a fucking coward-ass bitch. Hope you guys are paying attention, because when he wants to sit there and put up two different definitions of certificate, when he gets them out of Black's Law Dictionary or this or that. Yeah, I posted Black's Law Dictionary def definition on certificate, but I also posted a couple other things as well. I posted all kinds of definitions on what certificates are. I post all kinds of definitions on what fiat is. So you can put all kinds of information together and ascertain for yourself what it means. So again, when I present information to somebody and they turn around and, gee, I don't know where you get your information. That ought to tell you something. His mind is closed. And then when he deletes the comments, and then blocks me, and then calls fact checkers and, and Facebook or whoever it is that he's got deleting my comments, proves he's the bitch. All the while he's standing up there trying to profess that he's trying to teach you how to express your freedom of speech and your freedom of the press, while he's suppressing it his own goddamn self. You fucking coward. And then again, like in the Amon Bundy situation, he wants to stand up there in the crowd. Yeah, I must stand alone. I'll stand my square without anybody. I don't need you. He's at my side at all times. Remember that footprints in the sand? When somebody wants to cry about only seeing one set of footprints... Why weren't you walking with me? Think about it, people. You don't need anybody to walk with you. As long as you stand your square, he's with you. Let's continue on. The origin of the word fiat in English is connected to the origin of the word itself. Taken from the Latin meaning, let it be done. This word appears in the Latin translation of Genesis. The first book of the Bible when God proclaimed, let there be light. That's your fiat right there, the light inside of you. Nothing else. When you start subscribing to another fiat, you have already denied him and he'll deny you. Definition of fiat, a command or act. Actions speak louder than words. A command or act of will. Whose will is it? Is it your will? 
Because if it's your will, you better think again. It's his will. And if you're operating by your will, here, buy my t-shirt. Donate to my law corner so I can teach you about freedom of the press and freedom of the speech. Oops, delete, don't like that guy. You fucking moron. I suggest anybody that's got Kurt Pendergrass on their list be very mindful of what he does and says. He's a fucking coward. A command or act of will that creates something without or as if without further effort. Again, the footprints in the sand. When you are given up and you have no more power, you have to put forth no more effort because that single set of footprints is him carrying your ass. According to the Bible, the word was created by fiat. In beginning was the word. Oh my God, it was created by fiat. What is fiat? Fiat is the authoritative, authoritative command. So when you want to sit there in your press box and ask them where they get their credentials, you're asking the wrong fucking question. Fucking Kirk Pendergrass is a fucking coward and an idiot. I don't know where you're getting your information, Keith. Well, maybe you ought to fucking listen. <clears throat> An authoritative determination dictate a fiat of conscience. Conscience. An authoritative or arbitrary order. Decree government by fiat. Government isn't the fiat. People created the government by their fiat. What is that fiat? Articles of Confederation, Declaration of Independence, and the Constitution. If you can't overwrite that, then you don't have any business anywhere in their courts. Standing up against a standing army like you've got some kind of power because you've got 13 people with you with cameras professing you don't need credentials. Why don't you need credentials? Explain that to people, Curtis or Kirk. Explain to them why they don't need credentials. And listen to Kirk always going back to the Constitution. And just like the people that claim they're Moors, stopping at the Moor and saying that I'm a Moor. You are so much more than a Moor. You are so much more than the Constitution. And yet you don't realize it because you don't realize what your fiat is, what your authority is. You keep relaying it to some piece of paper. A command or act. Let me refresh your memory, people. The Bible is the most prolifically written and published book in the history of mankind and has yet to be rebutted. An authoritative decree, sanction, or order. A royal fiat. A fixed form of words containing the word fiat. When you get done writing your fiat... Put down at the bottom, fiat. I guarantee you they'll recognize that bitch. And it doesn't matter whether they want to certify it, authenticate it, or validate it. It's already validated by your own goddamn writing. <clears throat> you might think fiat is just an Italian car, but it actually means illegal authoritative decision that has absolute sanction even as they describe it as a legal decision a legal authoritative decision they still recognize its absolute sanction even in the legal world they recognize the absolute sanction of fiat 
and everybody reaches into their wallet. Here you go. Here you go. Form, or excuse me, from the Latin for let it be done. The word fiat is a binding edict. Just the word alone is a bond. Binding edict issued by a person in command. Again, I don't like that word person. But the concept is you or me. That gives it in command. Now, that command can be written, verbally stated, or by your actions. Fiat means mandate, click, gift, proposal. No, or excuse me, legally binding command or decision entered on the court record as if issued by a court or judge. As if issued by a court or a judge. So it doesn't need to be issued by a court or a judge. Comprehend that. As if. Because you are in fact the only, the only judge of yourself if you realize it. You are in a court already and it's his court. An official order from a person or group in authority by fiat. Remember we talked about the constitution was by fiat of the people. So their monetary currency, fiat currency, is theirs. And we are qualified to use it by our own goddamn fiat prior to the institution of a fiat currency. We are the ones that commanded it so. How dare you use it against us? A government cannot mandate by fiat a feeling of unity in its citizens. Cannot. Because it takes the unity of the citizens in a like feeling in order to mandate the fiat. An official order issued without the consultation of those expected to obey it. I don't need your consultation. Romans 13 verse 4 talks about ministering the word of God, not administering the word of God. Whose consultation are you taking to add to his ministry in your administration? I don't need your consultation. I already have consult. Our, an arbitrary order by decree, authorization or sanction, government fiat, from Latin, let it be done. Third person singular, present subjunctive of fieri, to become, to be done. R uh, notice that said third person. Huh? Yeah, third person. Why are we talking third person here? Think about the trilogy of the trust, people. Third person. You have the first person. You have the second person. Who's the third? The one I don't need consult with. See, that second person is going to talk to their person. That's the third person subjunctive. Fiat, in English practice, a short order or warrant of a judge or magistrate directing some act to be done. An authority issuing from some competent source for the doing of some legal act. One of the proceedings in the English bankrupt practice. Being a power signed by the Lord Chancellor. Addressed to the court of bankruptcy. Authorizing the petitioning creditor to prosecute his complaint. You see that third person subjunctive right there? <coughs> One of the proceedings in the English bankrupt practice being a power 
signed by the Lord Chancellor. One person. Addressed to the Court of Bankruptcy. Second person. Authorizing the petitioning creditor. Third person. Get it now? The person is always directed by a person by by a by a command. Whose command is that person following? And if he's a respecter of no persons, would you be using a commerce a, a commercial person? He doesn't give it any commands. So any commands you give to that person better be through him. Otherwise, it's fucked up. It's a lie. It's libel. It's a liability. It's able to lie from that point on. It can be certified. And somebody can, can, can put lies down along with that certification. And then they can turn around and testify as though it's authentic. Be very particular about your signatures and what you're doing with them. That person is very important to you and everybody else. And if you don't realize how important it is to yourself, everybody else is going to know how important it is to them and they're going to yank it. So again, I reiterate, the oldest and best known and most prolific publishing of fiat is the Bible. Do you remember your commandments? And I don't care specifically whether it's the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, um, Buddhist writings, or Muslim writings, whatever. Those are commands that are superseding to any legislated code written anywhere in the world. I don't care if you live in Turkey and you're practicing Protestant Christianism. I don't care if you're living in communist China practicing atheist. Their fiat is subjective in person. Nobody will sit in any fucking court anywhere. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The only thing they can do is verify that it was certified. You, on the other hand, can validate, authenticate, certify, and any fiat you put out. If you're putting it out and certifying it without being able to validate it or, so, or uh, authenticate it, then is it valid? Can it be valid? What's the validity? The validity is the authority it comes from. So if you're writing something and you don't know where you're writing it from, and you're writing it under their codes as if, oh, that's where the authority... They're going to run right over you. They're going to haul you out in handcuffs in a wheelchair just like they did Amon Bundy again yesterday. I appreciate Amon Bundy with all my heart. He's doing a great job. But the people that are running, running into those courts and causing these acts of war, physical acts of war, I've been in and out of jail myself. And when you act peacefully, they will treat you peacefully. You have to know what wars, even Kirk says, you got to pick your battles. Yeah, look what he's doing. He's picking his battles by deleting other people's comments. And then saying, and then accusing me of libel. Bring it, bitch. Bring it, bitch. I'll bring every security certificate out of every fucking program. And if you think that can be withheld, you're, you're forgetting about patent laws. These people are under electronic patents. They better fucking bring it forward. That's dissemination of private information on a public forum? I don't think so. Kirk, you got it all wrong. I took information from a public domain and printed it on your public domain, public broadcast, where you claim private rights. That's fine. You can claim those private rights. But once it's published from public domain to public domain, the only private right is, is to be able to clarify your intent. You can't go around deleting comments and then accusing somebody else of libel. You're going to get your bitch ass caught up in your own goddamn stupid libel, motherfucker. Excuse my language, folks. But as you can see, it's got me quite ticked off. 
And again, like I said, this has nothing to do with Amon Bunny and it has nothing to do with Chris Hallett. I believe highly in both of those individuals. But Kirk Pendergrass, you go ahead and keep sending your donations. You go ahead and keep buying his t-shirts. Because when you say something he doesn't like, he's going to delete your comments. And then turn around and accuse you of cross libel. Thinking he's smart. His arrogant, narcissistic motherfucking ass. Walk into court and profess, you ain't got the right to certify this. You, you can't certify this. Without being able to tell them where it comes from or trying to assert that it comes from the Constitution, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Let me say that one more time. You're an idiot. I don't need credentials because it's written in my goddamn heart. Let my yay be my yay and my nay be my nay. Let me show you something else here, folks. Along with my nay being my nay and my, my yay being my yay, um, let's talk about Isaiah 54 of the King James Version of the Bible, where in the very first verse, the very first word, it says, Sing. Sing. Let's talk about the last verse. You guys can read this entire chapter. It's 17 verses. It's a real easy read. But recognize it starts out with sing. And then the last verse, verse 17, it says, No weapon. Again, while you're walking into this, these courtrooms professing your Second Amendment right to bear arms, this here says no weapon. No weapon that is formed against thee. This isn't talking about guns. This is talking about the words. This is talking about the words that they're using against you as weapons. No weapon is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue, again telling you that the weapon is created by the words, by using one's tongue, and every tongue that shall rise against thee. In judgment thou shalt condemn. Again, you are your own judge. If they raise their words against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn them. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness in me, saith the Lord. That's your fiat right there. That's your credentials. That's your certification. That's your validation. That's your authenticated writing. Has yet to be rebutted. Imagine that. So again, when you want to walk into these forums that are public venues trying to profess your private right, you're doing it wrong, you idiots! If you go into their courts, you have to be able to show how their words are not correct and yours supersedes them. If you go in there babbling about some certification is not in the Constitution, you're not doing it right. Romans 13 verse 4 says they're supposed to minister the Word of God. Romans 13 verse 1. What is that? Talks about the power of God, doesn't it? The authority of God. Let every soul, every soul, that includes them, be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. So why are you talking about certification, Kirk? Why do you have a problem with me trying to point out that there's much more to certification than what you're putting out? I don't know where you're getting your information from, Keith. Duh! Sorry about my rant being so violent today. 
But I hope people understand the passion in my heart. I don't give a fucking rat's ass about any fiat currency. Some fake fictional note that somebody else signed and nobody will certify, authenticate, and validate. Why? Because it's already been unvalidated or invalidated by the writing. As it is written, so shall it be. What is done is what ought be done. There is nothing new under the sun. You can't charge me because he said so. And your own public law, 7310, HJR 192, U.S. 12, Title 12 of the United States Code, Section 411 and 412, as well as many other sections in many codes and scriptures in your language, your legislative words, confirm this and agree with it. My fiat supersedes it simply by action. Simply by action. My fiat stands whereas their fiat doesn't. The only reason their fiat stands is because you keep accepting it and you keep signing it. You keep certifying it. You keep authenticating it. And then when it comes time to get on the stand to validate it, guess what? You don't even know what the certification means. You don't know. You don't even know what the authentication means because you haven't gotten to the superior right of fiat and patent and all this. You don't need anything but what is already done. So for people like Kirk Pendergrass, feel free. Bring your libel suit. Bring your libel suit. You won't even see me appear in a court, motherfucker. I'll do it all on paper. And I'll do it with biblical scripture. Contradictory terms. UCC 3-114. Handwritten terms prevail. While Kirk Pendergrass will sit there and do his research and do his copy-paste to print up his nice documents... I'll be handwriting something very simple that will defeat his entire case. It'll be Fiat, Commandy Facebook, and their security certificates to be brought forth in a subpoena to validate evidence in, on, and for the record that the man before the court accusing myself of libel is in fact committing perjury slander and libel his own damn self so remember people while Kirk Pendergrass is sitting there trying to teach everybody their freedom of speech and freedom of press he suppresses that very freedom and then calls you out as if though you're the one committing libel you fucking coward You guys really want to pay attention to someone pay attention to yourself do your own research like I said don't believe the government don't believe me don't believe Kirk and don't believe your own mother do your own research and when somebody like me comes on a post and makes a comment and the guy on the post has a problem with it Copy that comment and do your own research so you can discern whether the guy that made the comment or the guy that's running the post, you can discern for yourself who's telling the truth or who has a better conception of what the truth is. Kirk Pendergrass is a fucking coward. I don't care what kind of information that he wants to put out. And like I've said, he does put out good information. I've been watching his Kirk's Law Corner for a while. And I don't generally interact a whole lot. But when I do, it's like I said before in one of my posts. When I say something, it's not because I want to say, it, say something to, to be noticed. I say something because I've done my research and I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I don't say something if I don't know what I'm talking about because I don't want to sound stupid. I don't want to sound like the idiot like Kirk Pendergrass. Everybody wants to listen to him and all of his, his things with Kirk 
uh, uh, Chris Hallett, yet you don't comprehend it. Why not? Is it possibly because when somebody else interjects information to help you figure it out? To help give you some, some deeper clarification to what certification is? Certification is a process. You take a document with facts written on it, your fiat, the comments you make, and you can authenticate it as being valid, or you can certify it as being valid. Now, if you take that document, you authenticate it, it remains a document. If you take that document, and you certify it, what you have done is you have just taken your fiat by certification process and converted it to a different fiat. You have instrumentalized it. Very important word. You have made it become, you have, it has now become instrumental in fiat currency And when you sign it, it's a negotiable instrument that can be securitized. When you sign that instrument under those negotiations and hand it over, guess what? They're going to take that one and they're going to add a bunch more to it. They're going to put it in a big pool. And they're going to securitize it. Now, if you take your fiat and all you do is authenticate it without certification, it remains its original form of fiat. UCC 3 206. No. Let's see here. UCC 2-206. Offer and acceptance. Excuse me, I held my phone wrong. Let me try this all over again. Somebody made it made a note no sound. So we're gonna start over. UCC 2-206 offer and acceptance in formation of contract. They are taking the information that you wrote on your document or their document upon your acceptance. And it may being a monetized contract. And they will do that in every instance. Unless you put your own note down there at the bottom. Fiat. You want to certify something? You want to authenticate something? Show them where the source comes from. Fiat. Fiat. Fiat is a commandment. Just that one word alone is referring to the form. The origin. So think about this, people. And today I'm not going to post my other forms. 
I'm not going to post my PayPal link. Because again, as I say, I'm doing this for you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. What I do ask is that you pass this along. Share the hell out of this video and let people know about Kirk Pendergrass and his coward bitch ass. Debate me. Open up your page. Let me comment on your on your law corner. Unblock me. And quit trying to be a private little bitch. Quit trying to run and hide. Face me in the public forum that is. Have a good day, folks. Love you. Bye.